Hi, Christy again. I want to talk about the importance of dense nutrient vegetables. So I grew up on corn, beans, and carrots. Well, they weren't keeping me happy. And of course, I worked in a pharmacy where older adults were coming in and saying, my doctor won't let me eat corn and carrots. They're too high glycemic. Well, diabetes runs in my family. So I experimented with collards boiled to death, uh, taught by one of my daughter's boyfriends. I experimented with beet greens boiled like the collard greens. They worked pretty good. I experimented with romaine salad instead of iceberg. I experimented with broccoli. I experimented with beets. I experimented with, what else did I experiment with? I, kale was last. <laughs> I, I wasn't introduced to kale until I started reading it places and watching Dr. Oz. Um, I discovered a recipe that I have that I can give to you. Um, it's really, really good, and even my husband will eat it, and he doesn't like vegetables. But he will eat it because all the other people who eat it like it a lot. So, I know that uh, broccoli, spinach, even artichokes, I love artichokes, do you? Um, and collards, romaine, um, onions. I heard onions are anti-inflammatory. I like those because I don't have to do the sugar uh, dried cherries or the cherries with sugar. Uh, sugar started bothering me. That's another thing I have on this is sugar started bothering me, giving me pain. So onions work better than um, cherries and I made adjustments along the way. So this is what this course is, is to get you started on alternatives, a little bit of change at a time, step by step, and learning which vegetables have which nutrients, and why we recommend the spinach, the collard greens, the kale, the romaine. Oh, and I added leeks, parsnips, because of Rachel Ray. I didn't like hers, but I found a recipe that I like with leeks and parsnips which I can also give to you. And then I collected recipes online and started adapting them with my best food choices and got some pretty good ones for you. So vegetables have magnesium and zinc and some other things that carrots and corn just don't have. And carrots and corn just add extra sugar to our diet and make us have more diabetes and maybe even become fatter. <laughs> so I remove them from my diet. And we talk about nuts, which also have magnesium and zinc a little bit later. And this is part of my beginning course also. Which nuts should you eat and why? Because peanuts aren't good for everybody and I quit eating them because they're full of fat. So I wanted to introduce you to vegetables and why they're important and different vegetables have different properties which protect us from cancer and we'll discuss that in the course which vegetables are good for whom and why and why we can use different vegetables to satisfy different people's hunger and keep them from gaining excess pounds. Thank you. Bye-bye.